Madison, Oliver, and we are on chapter five. These second graders are sitting on the rug, listening to their teacher's every word. Sitting across from Cleo was Micah Mitchell, who had a reputation for armpit farting. Ooh, we can yeah. laugh because we said farting. <laughs> <laughs> As she reads, CEO Cleo Edison Oliver, Playground Millionaire, by Sunday, Tucker Frazier. Think I'm strange all you want, Cole Lewis. I'll be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> So not only are the second graders reading Cleo Edison Oliver, the entire school is reading the book. It's about a girl named Cleo who likes starting businesses. It's like a like a school-wide book club, and if I want to talk to someone about the book, there's always someone I can talk to. This book is part of the One School, One Book reading program at Mary Bethune Pre-K through 8 School started last year. This is the fourth book the entire school has read together. We decided to do this to help reinforce our reading instruction, to bring our parents and have parental involvement within the school, and to bring about joy of, and the, for the love of reading. She slid down the slide to the rubbery black turf. In this fifth grade class, they are reading along to a video of an educator reading one of the chapters. To the top of the tallest slide. From kindergarten to eighth grade, every class is reading this book together. These third graders drew pictures of their favorite part of the book. My favorite part was when Cleo tried to help her dog by selling avocado. These seventh graders are answering questions to make sure they are comprehending what they are reading. What had happened at the park? She got sick. She got sick. Reading these books is helping students improve their standardized test scores and more. Where someone may not have um, taken time to investigate, do a close reading is one of those strategies that we use. And to be able to transcend that into taking the test and um, marking on on the, the passage to be able to articulate the answer. And then not just for a test, but we read um, every day in life. So to take those skills and take them outside of the school and utilize them there. And some people are even helping their parents who cannot read to understand what they're reading. And students are gaining a love of reading. I'm noticing different students, like in the cafeteria during my time, they will have a book out and they're reading the book. And these are children that we didn't see reading, just leisurely reading. But we're seeing that now. I like reading more because everybody's reading the same book. 